electric dipole is a combination of two charges which are like a equal in magnitude but opposite in sign like minus q and plus q separated by a small distance that distance is generally treated like 2 a where a is measured from the center of the dipole. Now, I want to talk about a line called something like a equatorial line. This line is called an equatorial line. What is an equatorial line is a line passing to the center of the dipole and perpendicular to the this line is called axial line perpendicular to the axial line. Now, I want to calculate electric field intensity on the equatorial line. So, let us consider a point B who is at a distance r also assume that the r value is much bigger than that of a just for a kind of an approximation and I want to calculate intensity at this point. How can I calculate intensity? You know the definition of intensity it is nothing but the force experienced by a unit positive charge. So, let us imagine a unit positive charge. We shall identify what are the forces acting on that unit positive charge. We can see now that this is a positive charge plus q this positive charge on this plus 1 applies a force of repulsion because these are two similar charges this could be called like a intensity intensity due to plus q i want to write what is the value of that intensity basing on the coulomb's inverse square law we know that value coulomb's inverse square law formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 is q q2 is nothing but equal to 1 by this distance this is r this is a so this distance becomes automatically r square plus a square r square plus a square whole square coulomb's inverse square law so what is the answer is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square plus a square. Similarly, let us talk about the other charge negative charge there is one difference this negative charge on this positive charge applies a force of attraction not a repulsion. So, it is its direction electric field due to minus charge you might have noticed as the charges are same and the distances are same the magnitude of electric field intensity due to the negative charge is also same but either they are not in the same direction or they are in the opposite direction. Say if this is an angle theta and if this is an angle theta I can say this total angle is nothing but equal to 2 theta. Now, I have two vectors equal in magnitude separated by a certain angle I want to calculate the resultant can I write E resultant as root of e 1 square e 2 square 2 e 1 e 2 and the cos theta according to the parallelogram law. Of course, the theta in the problem is nothing but equal to 2 theta. So, it is nothing but 2 e square of 1 plus cos 2 theta. We know the formula 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. So, 2 cos square the place of theta in our problem 2 theta by 2. So, our answer is going to be equal to 2 e square and 2 cos square theta. So, our answer is automatically 2 e cos theta where I want to calculate what is that values are e I have already calculated 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square plus a square like we have derived here earlier cos theta see there is a right angle triangle I want to write cos theta I can write cos theta as adjacent side by hypothesis hypothesis is nothing but equal to root of r square plus a square. So, if I calculate the and simplify this equation E on the equatorial line is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in the denominator q 2a in the numerator 
r square plus a square whole power 1 and r square plus a square whole power 1 by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but equal to 3 by 2. So, r square plus a square whole power 3 by 2 is our answer. That is a exact answer. But suppose if you want to make certain approximation, what is the approximation that we can make is because it is a dipole, the distance between the dipoles is much smaller, r is greater than that of a. So, r square is much greater than that of a square and that r square, a square can be now ignored. So, here on the equatorial line is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. As we have mentioned in the previous video, q into 2a is called electric dipole moment, who is a vector whose direction is from minus q to plus q and shown with a letter p and r square, a square is neglected whole power 3 by 2. So, it can be further simplified as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r cube. If you remember in the previous video, we have proved that e on the axial line is 2 p by r cube. So, what I can say e on the axial line is 2 times of electric field intensity on the equatorial line. Not only that, I am also interested in calculating the direction of this resultant e plus q and e minus q. The resultant is this much or else this much accurately. I want to know what its direction is. As these two vectors are equal, the resultant will be exactly in middle. This is the direction of E equatorial line and it must be making an angle theta because the total angle is theta 2 theta the resultant must be exactly in the middle. Thus, we are able to find out E axial as well as E axial as we have calculated earlier in the previous video you can browse through go back and browse through in that playlist 2 p by r cube and hence the relation between the charges is like this. Thank you for watching. Come back for the further videos and you can also browse to the website for the complete lessons of entire physics course. Thank you.